in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make this cool cyborg effect what's up everyone it's Ruth Darsen here welcome to this brand new video from Grease Studio Today I'm going to show you how to turn yourself or anyone else to a cyborg using Photoshop because who doesn't want to do that, right? For this video I'm going to use this image and before we continue if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button it means a world to me and importantly hit the bell so you can stay notified. Okay then now take a photo of yourself, your mom, girlfriend, grandpa, literally anyone and let's fire up Photoshop. First I'm going to mask her out using pen tool. And if your photo is like this one and you want to use stock images I used, link are somewhere in the description. And to refine hair, select the mask and go here. And using refine edge brush, just well refine, refine the hair. Then convert it to a smart object. Let's change the background to color something like this. Okay. And I have this image which I'm gonna use for the neck. Uh, let's Let's mask it out. I'm gonna cut out some areas. I only need one side, so reduce opacity and use both to kind of match the shape with original neck. It's all up to you. Rename me as neck. What the heck? Why is he in type? Now erase areas we don't need. Kind of like that okay. now we want this kind of look like the neck machines are under the skin kind of look like skin is thrown apart there so now we do that therefore I'm gonna make a selection using pen tool and inverse the selection using ctrl plus i in windows and grab the brush and erase areas we don't need this way it's easier. Okay, now it's, it's look something. Let's erase some areas of her original neck. Like that. Now this looks shit. <gasps> so we need to add some shadows, basically ambient shadows. So now I'm gonna do it using exposure adjustment layers. Now, would you look at this? It's something. Now, select the model layer and make a uh, selection like this shape or whatever you want. And press Ctrl J for make a copy of the selection and bring it all the way to top. Duplicate the level layer of the model and clip it to the skin part we just made. Okay, now select the layer mask of the skin part and create a new solid color layer below the cheek layer we just created. And now select the cheek and move aside a bit uh, like that. This is good. Okay, duplicate the layer and bring it below and adjust the position a little bit, uh, something like that. Okay, and select the layer mask of it and make another solid color. Uh, set color to something like this and hit OK. And using hard brush, fill the edges so it look more real. Then uh, separate part. Something like this, it's cool I think. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same for face, I mean for the hole in the face, to give some thickness. Now I'm gonna use this image for inside the holes, uh, look like face mach machinery. Let's use warp to give it some shape like it's actually inside the face. If that make any sense at all, you get the point. This is good I think. Okay then let's clip it to the black solid layer. There you go and there's a light source so we need highlight and some glow as well. Then let's make some really quick. 
I'm not gonna explain how to create highlight in this video. If you want a video about it, comment down below. For the other side, I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna change the color. This is good, I think. It's not good, it's awesome. Okay, now create another solid color layer. Set color to something like this. Invert the mask and just draw a line. Don't need to be look good, just draw it in the skin. Then go to blending option and bevel and emboss and set my settings. I think this is good. You can adjust settings if you want, obviously. Now delete the layer mask and draw some patterns using hard brush, like I am doing right now. You can draw whatever you like, you don't have to draw like me. Okay, now same for the other side as well. Just duplicate it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the duplicate. Okay, now for the eyes, let's use this one. And guess what? We're gonna have to do now. That's right. Cut the damn eye out. Let's match it with the original eye. Create a layer mask, invert it, and draw away. Maybe we can add a level adjustment layer to the eye. Oh, there you go. That is super cool. Okay, now let's make some tubes, pipes, whatever you saw in thumbnail. For that, first I'm gonna create a solid color and set color to something like gray. Okay. Using hard brush, just draw like this. It's easy if you have a tablet, but I'm gonna go with my precious mouse. Okay, we want to make these like tubes or pipes. So, for give some shape to it, create an exposure adjustment layer, clip it and bring down the exposure. Now use the soft brush to make some shading like this. Yet again, create another exposure adjustment layer and bring up the exposure this time and paint opposite side we did before. It's all up to you, your eyes, your imagination, whatever. Okay, now we need these tubes to look like they actually connected to the head cause this looks hideous. To do that, create another solid color and, and uh, paint a circle like this. Use the hard brush for that. So now go to blending option, bevel and emboss, set my settings. Now that's good in my opinion, but if you don't like this, adjust settings in bevel and emboss. Now these tubes aren't really stick much, so I'm gonna add a texture. We can use some warp to give it some shape, there's nothing much to explain. Maybe we can add a purple smoke or fog to knit machines. Use a fog brush for this. If you don't have one, you can get plenty from brushes for free. Comment down below if you know any other sites can download free brushes. Well, that's not bad. It's good actually. Okay. Maybe we can add some glow to the eye. I don't know. For that, create a blue solid color. Put blending mode to linear dodge add use soft brush and then just do like this same for the other eye but low opacity okay maybe we can make another hole in her arm just like the face uh, let's try that out the steps are same we did with the face so i'm gonna speed up that
Okay, this is how you can turn yourself or anyone else to a cyborg. I hope you got the idea. Very, very nice. This is how it's done. Also, you can add a nice environment to this. It's pretty basic, so I will speed up that for you. Enjoy. very very nice comment down below your thoughts i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like subscribe it means the world to me make sure to hit the bell so you can stay notified about our future contents and don't forget to join our other social media platforms link are somewhere in the description then i hope i'll see you in my next video bye